Look at all those views and all those comments. I bet they're making thousands of dollars. I want to be a story time animator just like them. Yeah, about that. Today, I won't be teaching you how to make thousands of dollars as an animator. If I knew how, I would. But what I do know is how to make story time animations. So if you want to be a story time animator, I'm making a three or four part series on how you can become a story time animator and make entertaining animation. Hey everyone, it's Shark Cake. I just hit 200,000 subscribers. Wow, that's so many of you. I can't imagine that many of you in one spot. But I do know that not a lot of you viewers are subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. It's worth it. You get to see pretty colors. So if you've seen the history of my channel, most of the videos are animation memes. The only real storytime animation-ish videos are these four videos. So take my advice with a grain of salt. I think the first one, chocolate, was meh in terms of story writing. Hey guys, this is Shortcake, and I'm here to talk about my new microphone. I okay, got it as a stop, Christmas stop. Okay, so if you're making videos, this is what you shouldn't do. Always start the video talking about the title and thumbnail you put so that the viewer doesn't think you just scammed them in the first few seconds. And I just talked about my microphone. Inside my condo, I climbed up the stairs, strutted into my parents' room, and entered their bathroom. On the okay, bathroom this floor, is actually kind of interesting. That animation though. <laughs> it's pretty good, but it's, it's so detailed. Anyway, this is like a one minute story. I think it's pretty okay for a first time. It was straightforward, to the point, but it could be a lot better. The ending was abrupt, there wasn't a theme or like a message behind the story. It was just me remembering how I ate poop as a kid, maybe. I don't really know if it actually happened, I just know it was in my memory bank for some reason. I made that video when I was in community college, so it wasn't until university when I took a class called Story Structure, where we would read books about how to structure your script writing and read professional scripts made for popular films. We would watch a bunch of movies and write outlines for them. This class was super helpful for me in realizing that to make a good story for your story time animation or for your film or video or comic, you need structure. Did I pass this class? No. But that's okay because my new major doesn't count it as credit. But despite that, I still got lots of valuable information that I still use in my videos today and I'll be teaching it to you in this very video. So, you want to be a story time animator, yes? Well, have you written a story before? Let me read that for you. Once upon a time, I ate soup. It was delicious. The end. Okay, this is cute, but not really a well fleshed out story. It reminds me of my poop story, where I pretty much did the same thing. Once upon a time, I ate poop. I thought it was chocolate. The end. For a better story, ask yourself some questions and get into the details. Who was this character who ate the soup? Is this their first time trying soup? And what kind of soup was it? Why was this soup important to the development or destruction of this character? Stories can be really powerful, but stories can fall flat without any structure. If you google story structure, you'll find that there's many different ways to structure your story. There are four major elements in a story structure. First is the introduction, where it introduces the character's life before their Journey. The main character has a desire they want to fulfill. Then are the plot points. Usually there's three. These are the journeys the character goes through which are related to their desire. Next is the climax. This is the part that the character fulfills their desire. This is often the part that most people are waiting for. Finally, the resolution, which shows what has changed about their character's life after their journey. So in making a story, think about what story structure you'd want to try out. This video is sponsored by Milanote. Milanote is a free application that can be used to plan and organize your creative projects. You can use it in many ways such as planning out your videos, structuring your stories, storyboarding animation, making mood boards, and brainstorming ideas. It's a very versatile program that can be used on both computers and mobile devices. Please check out the link in the description to sign up for a free Milanote account. Today, I'll be using Milanote to show my planning and scripting process for storytime animations. I'll be providing a heck ton of tips so get your notes ready. This one is the board I made specifically for this video. Here I decided to make use of Milanote's drawing features. I used a line tool to develop the computer screen and a drawing tool to doodle the little shortcakes. To produce the story time animation, you must start with these four things. First, you must create an idea. Then, develop a title and thumbnail based on that idea. Next, you make a story outline. And then finally, the script. 
So let's go see what forming ideas is all about. If you're planning on becoming a storytime animator, you probably have some story ideas in mind, probably based on your life experiences. What's most important is that you get that idea on paper. For me, I get my ideas just by a living life, and out of nowhere, I'll experience or notice something that would be potentially a great video idea. I usually write it down as soon as possible, probably on my phone, but if I don't write it down and just say, meh, I'll remember it later. I almost never remember it. Ideas are like fleeting butterflies that you have to catch as soon as possible. If you see it, catch it. Using meal note, I can click and drag notes from the note button to easily write things down. Even faster, you can double click to make an empty note appear. Of course, you can always change the card color. You can also change the text styles to however you want it to be. So here are my story time ideas list. I just took this from my own list and copy pasted it. So if you got no ideas yet, try to type everything you can think of. Don't be afraid to be inspired by other YouTubers, but make sure you add your own twist. It also doesn't have to be a traditional A to B story. It can be a discussion told in a story-like manner. I did this for my shorty struggles video. So out of your list, choose an idea that is intriguing, controversial, or interesting, and that your target audience would drop what they're doing to watch. So my idea is how I peed my pants in middle school. Now that you got your idea, it's time to brainstorm the title. So just think of as many different ways you can rewrite this title. Ask friends, family, and your target audience if this title appeals to them. So out of all these titles, the title I chose is Why do we have to ask permission to use the restroom? And of course, you can always change the title later on. Next is forming thumbnails. We will just be sketching and planning a thumbnail based on the title we made. So here are some thumbnails I made. When making thumbnails, try and sketch out at least four Four thumbnail ideas. Try to use the 1920 by 1080 ratio. You can also collect ideas and inspiration from YouTubers of similar and successful channels. So in here, I just went to YouTube and screenshotted some thumbnail. Add text only if it's necessary to sell your point. The title should be the designated spot for text. Composition and framing is especially important. There's a lot of different types of compositions you can use. What I usually use is the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds is so you have an image and then you just divide it into thirds. You focus on these points. You can put a main subject on one or two of these points. I even use it in my videos too. Sometimes my character is like off to the side like over here and that's done on purpose. People are drawn to wacky and intriguing faces so try to distort the faces if you can. Avoid putting text in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail because it'll be covered by the time thing. You can see here Emery <laughs> Emery choose hair is covered by the thingy, but it's okay, it's just hair. As long as the face is not covered, that would be embarrassing. Let's create a thumbnail using the rule of thirds, but uh, I really got to pee right now, so I guess that helps me. <laughs> got to pee. Okay, I kind of like that. Out of all of these, which thumbnail you prefer? I, I kind of like this one. Anyways, I'm gonna go pee beer back. Now for the story outline. A story outline is like the sketch for your script. You lay down the base points first before filling it in with the yummy entertaining fluff. I made my own story time animation structure which you can use and alter as you like. Yep. This is my secret recipe for my recent story time videos. To make it easier to follow along, I added a bunch of arrows to form a path throughout the story outline. So first, we start with the hook. The hook should have some relation to your title and thumbnail. It should be something to help draw in your viewers more. There are many ways of doing it and sometimes I don't even know if it'll do well. The best way to know is to check your analytics and see if people click off the first few seconds. Next is the intro. In my intros, I always introduce myself to new and returning viewers. Even more important is to do a call to action for subscribing and liking. Like you know, subscribe, hit the bell button, something like that. Next is the backstory. The backstory should show you or your character's previous history, experience, or conditions that may increase the stakes or make your story seem more interesting because of it. Next are the points. 
these can either be the adventures that you or your character goes through, or these can be points that contribute to your main point, such as here are five different struggles that I go through as a short person, and those five different struggles can each be a point. So for my story, the first point will be the first time I peed my pants, second time I peed my pants, and then the third time I peed my pants. Point 4, the lowest point. Now this point is inspired by a beat from the Save the Cat story structure called All is Lost. Everything goes downhill. It's the lowest point that your character goes through in the story. Having this lowest point can help the climax smack even harder. Speaking of climax, climax resolves the conflict or fulfills the character's desire. This should be the best part. To be honest, I still need to practice how to make better climaxes. Not like that. After your climax, you got your resolution. You can talk about your final thoughts and show any changes that you or the character went through. What has changed in you or your character's life? What is the purpose of your story? Finally, the outro. Basically, it's similar to intro. You do the call to actions again and try to start a discussion by asking the question. So for me, I'm gonna ask the viewer if they peed their pants before because I'll- <laughs> Oh no. So my meal note board looks a little complicated. Your story outline should actually look like this written on a document. Type down the structure first and then fill it in with bullet points or single sentences of what you want to talk about. Remember, don't write too long. This is just a sketch for your script. You'll get to write later. Finally, the meat of a story time animation. Scripting. Scripting can be incredibly intimidating. That story outline we made earlier gave us an outline to start off of. And of course, we can use Note to type documents. You can even export it as a PDF or Word document. So the first thing I recommend you to do is to write a rough draft but as quick as you possibly can. Maybe set a time limit to around 30 to 90 minutes. Pretend you have an in-class essay and you have to write an essay within an hour. This is the moment where you just write down everything in your mind. Don't care about grammar or spelling mistakes, just make sure you get all your ideas on paper. You can always edit it later. To start you can copy and paste your outline, add space between each section, and fill it in like a questionnaire. Alternatively, you can put your outline to the side of your screen and type alongside it. So here's some tips while I write this thing. Make sure to avoid perfection. Perfectionism can hinder you from typing as fast as possible. It's okay to make a lot of mistakes. And don't spend too long on each section. You can go back and add more later. Yay! Now I have my first draft. Next is peer review. Ask one or more people to review your script. Ensure that they're observant reviewers and they have experience in reading, writing, and or watching lots of stories. They should at least know between a bad story and a good one, and they should ideally be your target audience. Most importantly, you or the reviewer should read the script out loud to each other. Finally, observe your reviewer's face or responses. If they tend to get distracted and aren't engaged in the script, timestamp that section and edit and cut down accordingly. Now that you got your peer review, it's time to edit your script. Try to reread your script two to five times and edit what you think needs editing as you read it. Aim to combine and shorten sentences. Sometimes it seems important but try to not deviate too much from the point that you wrote down. After you've gotten peer reviewed and you edited your script enough, it is now a final draft. You're ready for the next process, audio. There are also other cool meal note features I didn't talk about. One is especially being templates. So when you make a new board, it will give you an option to choose a template. Film pre-production. It's a great template to serve as a homepage for a collaborative project on your video. So as you can see, you can add videos. You can also add soundtracks to your board. You can make a checklist. And there's even an option to make a table. Here's the film storyboard template. This template has a much simpler way of structuring in your story. Here's the film mood board. You can use mood boards to help you stylize your creative projects. You can even use color cards. It feels like I'm in Home Depot looking through the color cards for my favorite color. Finally, here's the weekly plan template. I struggle with organizing my weekly tasks, so with meal notes, I can use this template to help me plan what I need to do for my story time animations on a day-to-day -day basis. And of course, I got so many more templates to choose from. If you're just starting out as a story 
story time animator, you'll probably be alone, working on everything by yourself. Scripting, recording, animation, and video editing are all done by you. But as you grow your channel or studio, eventually you want to grow your team too. Milanote is similar to Google Suite where you can collaborate on creative projects with your team. You can invite editors by clicking share and adding their email, or you can copy and paste a link for your team to click on. You also have the option to create a read-only link if you don't want them to mess up your precious boards. And read-only links allow anyone to view your boards without a Milanote account. For me, I don't have a team yet, but I do like to use Milanote as a fun space to hang out with friends. Doodling, drawing, playing tic-tac-toe, Milanote is literally a note. A noteboard that you can draw and create whatever you want. If you want to give it a try, click on the link in the description below to sign up for a free Milanote account. Thank you so much Milanote for sponsoring this video. Whether you're a YouTuber, writer, storytime animator, or artist, I hope you'll start adding story structures to your projects. They save a lot of time and keep your story organized and easier to work with. Thanks for watching! Do you have any story or scripting tips and tricks? Or do you have any questions regarding storytime animation? Let me know in the comments! And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll know when the next video in the series drops. Okay, see ya!